we went to the worst rated restaurants in our city and left positive reviews. The only rule was we couldn't lie. My family did tag along, which was probably a bad idea because my mom saw people potentially doing drugs in the bathroom of the Rainforest Cafe bathroom. Let's just forget about that. We start off by going to this local restaurant called IHOP. I don't know why the reviews are so bad. I personally love IHOP. This place has two and a half stars. Oh, you may have heard of it. It only has two, not that Oh, half. not even a half? I think it's probably because of Lisa G. Picked up order for a homebound couple and my fault for not checking the order, but I didn't learn that the vegetarian burrito was full of chicken and bacon. Lisa, I am so sorry that happened to you. We're gonna go put this to the test and see if they indeed give us a meat burrito if we order a vegetarian one. Let's find out. Hey. Huge thank you to Thrive for sponsoring today's video. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I'm pretty sure that I have the best secondhand haul. And I want to show you everything. So let's get started. Wonderful tripod we got going here. Got this white short sleeve bodysuit from Abercrombie. It was only $30.99 on Thrive. And it's amazing quality, super thick, not see-through. I'm going to wear this all the time. This free people bodysuit. This is my first bodysuit from free people because they're just so expensive. But this one was only $27.99 on Thrive. <laughs> You're just not gonna find that at a traditional thrift store. I'm a thrifting queen with thrift. On my own, I'm just, I'm just lost. I got this bodysuit from Princess Polly. Fits like a bug in a rug. Fits like a glove. That's what I'm looking for. Hello? This bodysuit also makes me feel kind of jacked. I got this one from Cotton On. I kind of feel like I'm a superhero and this is my super suit. I feel like this is what Spider-Man would feel like or something like. Okay, classy gal. Hello? This is like an Ann Taylor sweater vest. Next, I got this little athletic romper from Princess Polly and this jacket from Abercrombie. I could keep going and going. I mean, I also got these jeans from Madewell. They didn't quite fit me. I'm not quite sure of my sizes nowadays. Their return policy is amazing, so it's not a huge deal. And the best part is that I've done a lot of the hard work for you already. I already went into ThreadUp and favorited a bunch of items that I know you guys would like. I got bodysuit, athletic wear, cute sweaters, and you can shop it if you click the link in the description and use my code to get 35% off your first order. So thank you so much to ThreadUp for making shopping secondhand so much easier. It truly is so much better for your wallet, the planet, and your wardrobe because you get some really cute items. Thank you, ThreadUp. If you look at the menu, it says new impossible plant-based sausage power combo, but that's not a burrito. But in honor of them, Abby ordered the impossible sausage and I got a regular burrito with no meat. First bite, what do we think? Not bad. The smell bite? is off, but well, the taste is on. That tastes like real sausage. That's crazy that that's actually what not real sausage. It's plants. It's plants. Matt, what did you just say? Wait, those are vegetarian eggs? They have all eggs are vegetarian. You should have finished your college degree. <laughs> <laughs> First bite of the burrito. Mm. Mm. I love how they put hash browns in that burrito. Also, I just want to emphasize how nice our server was. She was a sweetheart. Mom, how was your food? Fluffy, buttery, good. Would you describe that as fire? It's flaming. It's awesome, thank you. So good. Oh, I'm not paying for yours. We're paying for everybody else's, but not for yours. Okay. We also have this review from Miguel. It says, worst service by far. Took my daughter here on her birthday. Asked for them to sing happy birthday. And my waiter says, yes, and no, it never happened. I can't believe that happened to you, Miguel. I am so sorry. Um, excuse me. Yeah. This is a weird question. Do you guys sing happy birthday by chance? No, we didn't do that. Okay, much. sweet. Yeah. It's my brother's birthday. Okay. So that'd be awesome. Attention all I have customers. We have a very special <laughs> birthday now. The server was very friendly and attentive. The vegetarian burrito was, in fact, vegetarian. We loved everything we ordered and took the rest to go. The best part was when they came to sing to my brother-in-law to celebrate his 21st birthday and even gave him a scoop of celebratory ice cream with sprinkles. I have to say, this was overall an incredible dining experience. Let's yeah. go! The next worst rated restaurant in our city was Rainforest Cafe. You would have thought that I told my parents that they won tickets to the Super Bowl when I told them we were going here. Whoa! Oh, let's go! Happy birthday, Josh! Yeah, that's let's my go. birthday! I personally love Rainforest Cafe. It reminds me of Disney World. I used to go there when I was a kid. The smell, honestly, inside the establishment is unbelievable. I love it. I got my favorite stuffed animal as a kid a from Rainforest Cafe. No, it was a monkey and his name was Swinger. It smells like we're back in Hawaii. I bet you they don't have the same monkey anymore. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a freaking cheetah up there. But it seems like Johnny B 
has a problem with the shrimp tacos. So sad. Went back to get the shrimp tacos and it was completely uneatable. The replacement tasted not great, not sure why. Probably won't be back. Most annoying is the manager giving a 20% discount meal. It was not 20% awful, it was 99% awful. To be honest, I don't know what all of that meant, but it seems like Johnny was pretty frustrated about the shrimp tacos. So let's go try them. Teresa has whipped out her flashlight on her phone. You need to get your eyes checked, mom. I already had cataracts. While we're waiting for our food, we decided it might be fun to play the claw machine. You can pan your phone now? No, no way, no way, no way, no way. Are you kidding me? Wait, we just spent five dollars on that? Yeah, that's why I think one time's a charm. That's a ripoff. But you know what's not a ripoff? What? The photo booth. You can buy that video for three dollars. No thanks. Wait, that's actually kind of funny. Buy it. We gotta buy it. Oh, this was so exciting. I love that. I'm, I'm gonna sorry use these as bookmarks. I... If you care about your kids and their mental well-being, why in God's name would you ever take them to this depressing, sad excuse of a restaurant? Do your family a favor and go somewhere else that actually has a decent kids slash adults menu and has an atmosphere that's not some washed up 90s fever dream. <laughs> ah! Our food has arrived. Matt is currently in the restroom. First taco, let's go for it. That's honestly really good. These shrimp tacos might even be better than the shrimp tacos Abby makes at home. Sorry, babe. Then we have a one-star review from Susan S. I went to take my kids to eat there and see the fish in the tanks. There wasn't any fish in the tanks. This is so disappointing. They're gone. I feel like a good gauge of if a restaurant's nice or not is the restrooms. And let me tell you, my mom was pretty sure that she saw people doing drugs in the bathroom. What happened in the bathroom, mom? The stall next to me had two pairs of shoes that were big. Okay. Like two adults were in there. I think it was drugs. And then she said they eventually like just ran out, like sprinted out of there. And I was like, are you sure they weren't doing any like, you know, crazy business in there? And she's like, no, I don't think they're like making out or anything. She was pretty sure they were doing drugs. Abby, okay. look up. Look up. <laughs> I don't like that. Abby, let's hear the review, honey. Where do I begin? I walked into this cafe wanting a lunch and left with memories to last a lifetime. <laughs> The 90s animatronics are wildly lifelike. My shrimp tacos were tasty and my beans warm. The wonderful experience was perfectly documented by the convenient photo booth in the gift shop. In the end, there may not have been fish in the tanks, but there's nostalgia in my heart. Oh my oh, god! Kids! And the best part is they responded to our review. The manager, Katie W, said, Thanks for taking the time to share your feedback with us. We hope to see you again soon. <laughs> I actually love Rainforest Cafe. It's, I wish I could go there every week. Maybe I should. Maybe that needs to be like our weekly date night spot. I freaking love it there. Okay, we've got one more place to go. For our final restaurant, we wanted to really up the ante. So we went to this place called Zips. And let me tell you guys, people hate this place. The reviews are so brutal. I mean, I feel like out of all the restaurants, people seem to be the angriest in the reviews for Zips. We have Kim, first bad review I've ever posted. I've been a frequenter of this location since it opened. And it's a shame that service has gotten so bad. There were even reviews about cockroaches being seen inside the restaurant, how the fries were greasy, and how the guacamole did not have enough salt. Yeah, I mean, it's taken in. Is it anything special? I could use a little salt. Okay, so we added salt to the guacamole, and it's honestly fire now. Mom, can you stay bussing? Guac is bussing. You can have the last chip, babe. It's for you. You're a mom of two growing boys. Yeah. Go, mama. Yeah. 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 Get it, get it, get it. Yay! So apparently the french fries are soggy. They could be a little crispy. Let's I'll try them. They are soggy, actually. <laughs> Anybody see any roaches on their food? Rats. Any rats? Okay. Excuse me? Hello? Uh, okay. Well, the server just ran away from me. Started off my meal with chips slash guacamole slash salsa and was pleasantly surprised. They allow you to salt it to your taste, which was very thoughtful. The servings were generous, especially when it comes to the fries that weren't crispy, but they were greasy, and that's the way french fries are supposed to be, am I right? Not a cockroach in sight also, so I think this place is a win. Five stars. If I've learned anything from doing this video, it's that you get what you're looking for out of an experience. If you're looking for the bad, you're gonna have a bad experience. Bingo. But if you're looking for the positive, you're gonna have a much greater experience. Go try a horribly reviewed restaurant in your city. Let us know in the comments how the experience goes for you. John is asleep right now in the car <laughs> and he couldn't even pronounce our, our merch website correctly. Get your unplanned merch at 
Unplanned.com. <laughs> Dad, it's unplannedpodcast.com and it's what's up, dudes. Thanks so much again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to shop my secondhand favorites with my link below and use code ABBY in all caps for an extra 35% off your first order.